YouTube, what's going on? We we're getting ready to start a new house. This is a house that was built, I believe the homeowner told me in 1894. And it has been upgraded many times. Let's take a look at this. There's our attic entrance. And this home has nothing for insulation underneath it. Take a quick pick. A quick pick, no, uh, a quick peep. You can see down in here, there's nothing. There's nothing. The walls, uh, pretty much nothing in them. And we'll look in the attic real quick here. that bad boy old roof and the uh, ceiling on this thing is wood not sheetrock let's see if let me pull out my phone give you some light Wood, no sheetrock at all. It's got about R30 in here. On the load calculation, I actually put in R25 because it's wood and not sheetrock. So, from the attic, we got one supply there, one over there, one right here. My farthest run is back over there, up against this wall over here. And then I got one more right here, right on the other side of this. The return air is gonna come up right down there. Be a 20 by 30 filter grill. And uh, probably come around and We'll end up tying into the unit about right here. The unit will probably sit along right here. So, I'll take you down inside, show you the inside. Okay, so here we go, we're inside. And I marked all my spots where I'm gonna be putting my supplies. So this supply will start here, and it'll blow across that window over there, roll back. Same with this one. Gonna come across, blow across the window and come back. Return air is gonna be right there. Kitchen, supply is gonna be there. And it'll roll off that back window. And this one here is actually here, as opposed to here, because there's another room over here that's an add-on that has no attic space. And I'm gonna attempt to shoot supply air from there through this doorway and into the computer room because this uh, this wall right here is a western facing wall and probably going to have the most heat out of the house this particular room in the kitchen so i'm going to try to get them sufficient air to shoot straight into that room we'll see how it works bathroom Load calculation came up with 39 CFM, so it isn't getting anything. And then the bedroom. And the bedroom is going to go there and shoot across. And we're just off centered. There's actually a joist up there that I had to come off to the side of it. But it works out good because it's going to pull us right off so it'll shoot over there toward that window. All right, I'm going to get to cutting and uh, I'll kind of keep you guys posted as, as we go. 
What's going on YouTube? So we've got a little bit done since the last time I shot some video. We got our unit set, pulled our electrical from underneath the house. And um, this area right here is actually gonna have a uh, sheet metal case. It goes all the way up to the top for our refrigerant lines. And uh, yesterday I didn't have a pad, so I set it on brick so I'd kind of get an idea where it was gonna sit. Got some new tools out, the Hillmore Swedge my yellow jacket copper benders let's go take a look up upstairs see what we got going on oh we made some progress up here oh. so we have a two-ton two-ton carrier furnace 40,000 BTUs three ton high performance evaporator you can see the evaporator is almost as big as a furnace and a 20 inch return it's going to come over go around and it'll come right over there to the can you can see the can and uh what our supply so we got one that's going to come off and shoot to right over here one's going to come off shoot to right over there and six that's gonna come off right here and eight that's gonna go to right there and then a ten that I gotta get a start collar for it's gonna shoot underneath the return up and over here and it's gonna end up over there this is my actual longest run that I have and it's gonna uh, have a 10 8 reducer right there so this is a kitchen underneath here and um, that is a western facing wall so uh, this is probably the heaviest load I have in the house and it's the longest run so I decided to go with the 10 and reduce it at the 90 with a 10 8 reducer and that's pretty much what we got going on right now I just put in my gas. I went up kind of high with it. And so the gas line is actually over there in the insulation area by that 20 inch return. And we're going to go with the Ward Flex um, flexible gas line, shoot it over here, probably come up along this joist, and then uh, tie in here. Exhaust or flu will come up and shoot out right there drain lines out the side refrigerant lines out the side so we still got a little bit of work but i wanted to just update you on what we had completed all right thanks for watching all right we're finishing up for the day got my flashlight on see if we can help you guys see a little better got our duct system in well we ran adjustable 90s and you can see the mastic on all our joints and this this duct is so tight <laughs> it's off the ground <laughs> I'll probably put a strap on it strap it up right here our second one's here a nice little curve in it straight over and all these all my supplies have adjustable 90s on them if you can see that <laughs> couple little runs right here another adjustable 90 there this 10 inch right here goes straight back it's another 8 right there all interior feeds going to the outside wall 20 inch return runs back and actually if we go over here this corner right there let's see if I could zoom in you could probably see there is an adjustable 90 to make that turn right there. So all my trends, all my corners have 90s on them. And three inch um, FSK on the return. There'll be another three inch FSK on the supply. And then I'll have the R4 yellow duct on all my adjustable 90s in registers our boots this is my longest run over here 
go into a kitchen and it too has a adjustable 90 on it too pulled nice and tight has a little bit of a kink right here not a kink but there we go and that 20 is barely sitting on it you can see it right there barely we got the strap on there just had enough room to make it work where nothing's kinked up I think well let's take a look at our drains we did do the drains today too I did the flu so it comes up and I just seen a guy on YouTube uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head I'll I'll try to uh, add it to my video but he puts in a nice little port for combustion analysis I think his is a little different but with my supply house that's all I could put together and we come up and go out and then drain lines are over here teed in we got a trap down there they go out here and go outside my trap a blowout port pressure treat wood everything sealed up nice All my joints get mastic tape I still haven't ran my gas line but it'll basically come up right here it's gonna come from over there somewhere and uh, I got my refrigerant lines ran out let's step outside oh! here's my pan drain my refrigerant line it's off the wall a little bit it'll push right up tight and I actually didn't even put a 90 right there that's a um, I used the the yellow jacket benders to uh, make that 90 going down to the unit so when we're done that's a quick way to get down the ladder when we're done I don't have a nice little cover on it this will be a fun job I want I can't wait to see how much airflow I get out of this job and I still have a I still have the return grill and the supply grills um, on order but I think I'll probably go ahead and do the first part of this video with what we have done now and then uh, part two will show the rest of it that's it